Hi, my name is Sandy Carter and I'm IBM's General Manager for Ecosystem Development and a Social Business Evangelist. And today we're going to talk about a hot topic that I know is going to be everywhere at NRF this year and it's called Omnichannel. As I've gone out and talked to clients around the world, this topic, multi-channel, omni-channel is hot. And it's hot because we have a new breed of customer out there. We call them Generation C. They are connected and they are in control. They are on online. They are using mobile devices. They tweet. They trust their peers' recommendation more than they trust your website. And if you look at it, it's the same for B2B or B2C. Regardless of the consumer today, they are now that Generation C. And therefore, that omni-channel presenting yourself consistently across every channel that you sell through is going to be an extraordinary task and a mandatory one for all retailers out there. So I know this will be a topic of focus and just to preview some things that we've learned about the omni-channel. Uh, number one is that customers want a smart mobile experience. In fact, we just did our holiday shopping around Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and we found that 22% of those shopping purchased through a mobile device, that's up 43% from the previous year. Mobile must be part of that mobile strategy. If you think about a great retailer, Moose Jaw, Mountaineering, one of my favorite companies because they engage you and they bring you in and they use mobile. Did you know that with Moose Jaw, 10% of their store sales, I'm not talking about online, but people who come into the store happen on a mobile device. Given they have embedded mobile into everything, they've been rated by one of the top 50 mobile websites and they really combine this personalized and contextual interaction that works in the web, works in mobile, and right in the store, seamlessly embedding mobile into everything that they do. The second thing that we're seeing about the Omni Channel is that in that channel, customers want a personalized experience. Did you know that 83% of customers said that they're more likely to do business with you if you allow them to personalize and control when, where, and how they interact with you? not doing it on your schedule, but doing it on their schedule. I think this is really important to be able to personalize based on channel. Great example of this is Staples. They offer precision marketing based on the customer's attributes. As you're going across their channels, different ad spots appeal to different customers across different channels. They use location-based services. They look at lifetime value of a customer. They look at referrals and they increase the retention of their high value customers by applying this technology to help them identify and personalize based on the customer. Now the third element that we found that really empowers the omni-channel is validation from a social network. Everybody today is going to social networks. In fact, 80% trust the social network more than they trust your website. The average order on Black Friday in 2013 from Facebook referral was $98. $98 because the, the purchase was validated by a friend. Great example here, ShopCA in Canada. They've really seen the power of those social referrals. Social referrals are 10 times more likely to buy than an organic referral coming from your own site. Now, ShopCA is one of the top 10 retail sites that exist in Canada today. They offer incentives to share what you're doing and how you're buying so that you can share with your friends what's going on. And they measure, have a really depth of analytics and social scorecarding of their customer set. So this celebration of the omni-channel, and I think it should be a celebration, really looks at a set of transformational elements. Really looks at the way you analyze the opportunities using those social analytics to identify an opportunity and predict with predictive capability what the outcome will be. Of course, to do that, you need to collect that data. In fact, we look at supplementing the profile with information from social. Did you know from our last study, people will spend 20 minutes giving you more information about their profile if you give them something in return, free t-shirt, a discount off. Very much worth your while. The other element of omni-channel is how to 
decide on the best action, the best offer for that customer, and then deliver that relevant pricing and do it in an engaging fashion so that you can compare reactions, experiment, and then change. And then of course, to manage this. Manage this with a marketing process and measure results. So hopefully I'll see you at NRF and that we'll be discussing, I think, one of the hottest topics, which is around the Omni Channel. My name is Sandy Carter and this has been our Social Business Coffee Break.